Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So guys, I've cleaned out the enclosure, the centipede enclosure. And like I said earlier, it's got a double double lid or sliding glass there and an opening top there. Just gave it a good clean and a vacuum. And it's got the uh, the ventilation at the back here, which is got a double mesh. And you've got all the accessories here. So pieces of cork bark for it to hide under and sleep inside got a water dish some fake plants which you don't really need um i just add these for a little bit of color got a big piece of cork bark here a nice tube for it to uh go inside there and do its own thing and the actual sand so the first thing to do guys is to put the sand in and all these bits here and then the last part to do is to put this beautiful centipede in its new enclosure uh, oh it's in the corner there I was getting worried then. <laughs> uh, yeah, there it is just there. You can just see the white legs there. But uh, yeah, like I suggested, guys, it's um, uh, six, seven inches. It's not very big. Not to me anyway, because I've had bigger centipedes. But uh, yeah, so they're all the accessories I'll be putting into the enclosure. And um, yeah, I've had this enclosure now for the last, you know, four years or so. I got it from the BTS in 2018. It only cost me £40. It'd probably be about 80 pound now but yeah he'll be going to on this shelf here guys and uh let's get started so guys first thing to do is put the sand in the enclosure sorry about the shakiness Just give it a little move around and you can see the amount of space that the centipede will actually have and you know what guys i never even thought about using sand people always say miss the enclosure lift the humidity and all that but with these centipedes you don't have to you don't actually need it so we'll put the water dish just here Quickly pop this up. And like I said earlier, guys, these are actually from Peru in the Andes. So the higher up they are, then it's a lot drier up there. This is all amazing information from our good friend Tony. So we'll put that piece of cork bark just here for it to sleep on down. You know, just do its own thing. I usually get my. Um, my spoon and just just make an indentation under here so it can get underneath but i'm sure it won't have much trouble and then we'll put the pieces of plastic plants in and like i said you don't really need to use these but i like to you know add a little bit of color to the enclosure So we'll put one there, we'll put one at the back as well. Looks a bit more natural for the centipede. So we'll put a piece of cork bark will go there. So we'll move this out of the way just for the time being. And we'll put this piece of cork bark here. Yeah, that should be okay. It's, that ain't going anywhere. Uh, we'll put the other fake plant just there. Let's just so bring that down for you guys. There we go. That's a, a bit better. And we'll put the other piece of cork bark just here. Nice little small piece there so it can there we do its own thing. Yeah, see, nice and easy. You don't need no sphagnum moss. You don't need no substrate. Well, you don't need no koi. So let's just, oops, <laughs> sorry guys. Yeah, and there you go. Beautiful enclosure. Water dish there. A nice 
piece of cork bark at the front for it to sleep under. And it's got a few places to climb around and do its own thing. So yeah, plenty of room there guys. I'm happy with that. Water dish is full so it can have a drink and this will easily give it some humidity in the enclosure. So the last thing to do is to put the centipede inside there. And I'm so happy that I kept this enclosure. I was gonna sell it, but I thought, no, I'm gonna get a new centipede. It's about time. So guys, yeah, that looks absolutely fantastic. So the last part to do now, guys, is to put the centipede in its new home. So guys, here it goes. We'll put the tub in just like that. Just let the, just let the centipede settle down a little bit. It's just moving around. Slowly take the lid off, just use my tongs just in case. I don't really fancy getting bitten by this centipede. Oh. Just done a little bit of a scare there. That was close, guys. Nearly got out then. <laughs> so that's where uh, nearly grabbed it with the tongs. That's it. What I should have done in the first place, guys, is just use my tongs. Uh, to be honest, that's how I normally do it, really. I'll just grab it with the tongs quickly and just put it straight in the enclosure. And as you can see, Centipedes can't climb glass. They can actually climb the silicon. So well, that's why I'm going to put this in now. And there we go. So it can't get out. And there you go. Look, it's climbed already. Look, it's caught the. Uh... And this is why, guys, you have a double mesh lid. That is the reason why, guys, because they can't get out. <laughs> and like I said earlier, guys, it's actually a an enclosure for a centipede. And put another lid on there like that. So it's got two. It'll be difficult to do. This. Oh, with one hand. Yeah, that'd be a little bit jumpy. But if you look at the size, it's not. Well, if you've never had a centipede before, guys, that's it's a uh, big size. But um. Yeah, I should have used uh, my tongs really. I usually just pick it out with the tongs. Don't be too forceful on the centipede. And uh, yeah, that will climb down itself when it's ready. So yeah, a little bit of a scary moment there, but just use my tongs and then coax it in like that. It's not the normal way I normally do it, but I usually just um, use my tongs anyway. But uh, yeah. It should be okay in that enclosure there. So we'll put this enclosure on the shelf and uh, hopefully it'll settle down and uh, climb back down when it's ready. So guys, there you go. The enclosure's on the shelf and we have a centipede back in the collection. Absolutely amazing. It's still on the mesh on the inside. I hope so. <laughs> but yeah, I think that enclosure looks absolutely beautiful. It will stay in there until the end of its days and I think it should live an amazing life and all you do is guys is just keep topping the water dish that's it nice and easy and simple so I should have used my tongs really guys um I've had many centipedes in the over the years and I've always used the tongs and I don't know why I tried to coax it in the enclosure a little bit of a stupid idea from my part but uh yeah still living and learning but yeah I always use the tongs I've, I have done in the past so yeah I'll do that again uh, if I do move it, which I probably won't anyway, but uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video guys a little bit scary there, but uh, you have to be prepared for these kind of things and um, Thanks for watching everyone